Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on, you were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's its real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. I'm turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday I had a good day. No, oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop, we'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. This weapon. It's a symbol of power, Aiden. You did in a moment what my people have been unable to accomplish. Yeah, you're welcome. Take it. A token of my gratitude. The peacekeepers look after their allies. Yeah, thanks, Ader. Now, about getting to the center. Ah, uh, yes. You were looking for someone. You see, I want to go to the central loop too, Aiden. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them because I'm here. So as I said, until I find the killer, no one gets through. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. Okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes. As a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy. 
carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. You already know everything. If you continue to stand here like this, you'll also learn that I can be... unpleasant. Aiden, still alive? I'm worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK is restricted to the Water runs out, the bro got me fucked. PK and civilian alike. Ada wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. <laughs> Expected you to take the girl. Sophie. Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah oh, yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. 
Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop and PK's restricted access. We're doing what we can, Anna. Water theft is becoming more rampant, but I'll try to help. Come back and we'll try to share our supplies. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Aiden, this is Sophie. Let's talk now. Damn soldiers took my brother's life. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well. And we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Someone bought your job so badly in my life. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits who that fellow <laughs> Sophie's brother huh what was the asshole's name Barney the asshole's name is Barney and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals yeah, that's news to me so where is that dark zone it's a hundred a uh, hundred and twenty uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. My ways are top quality. The others... Yeah, you. Looking for work by any chance? 
hands. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him! Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. You? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck.